<laughs> Who is more romantic out of the two of us? What is the most romantic thing that you have ever done for me? I'm kind of embarrassed to even have to answer this because- Who's more romantic? I am not a romantic by any means. You are definitely the romantic. But I'd say the roman most romantic thing I've done was your first birthday we spent together. The private dinner at that secret Wonderland restaurant when we were the only ones there. So see, you impressed me at the beginning. You pretended you were romantic, but you really weren't. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, once I had you, you hooked me. romance was you're gone. You're like, look how romantic I am, because that was a romantic trip. But since then, you're like, oh, it's good, we're married so, now. You know it's romantic? 6.30 a.m. coffee every day. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Who is your celebrity hall pass? Oh, that's a loaded question. Yeah, be careful how you answer this. James Bender. <laughs> My design partner for the show? I just figured it was safe. Uh, but for you real- You something to tell me? No, definitely not. Um, <laughs> but let's keep it real. I thought you were gonna say Jennifer Aniston. I would say her. I was gonna say Margot Robbie, but if we end up at that Barbie premiere, that probably won't go yeah. well for me and make you uncomfortable. That'd be a little awkward. So maybe I go maybe with- Maybe just stick with James. How about this? I'll go with one who's passed on from her time, Audrey Hepburn. Oh, okay, that's a very politically correct answer. See? Played it safe. I can still sleep in the bed tonight. Yeah. Well, speaking of, why don't you spill your ET and who's your celebrity hall pass? First of all, we both know like I literally don't even know anyone's names. I have no idea who, what celebrities are what. And second, you know I'm way too jealous to answer that question. Wait, you have to tell I me. I you walked you... right into it though. Wait, I don't no, have not... one. You don't have one? No. Do you think we would have dated in high school? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah. You could have handled me? I told you some stories about me. I was wild when I was young. Yeah, I only like the wild ones, unfortunately. Yeah, I heard yeah. about you. Jean jacket, cigarettes rolled up in your sleeve. Thought you were, thought you were tough, huh? <laughs> I did. Probably would have been wrecking stuff for a lot longer if we met in high school. Yeah, that would have been yeah. scary. Who spoils the kids more? Who's the biggest pushover? I mean, I don't even know who wrote that question. If anybody knew anything about us, I am the authority. Christina is the one who says, whatever you want, it's easy. And it's already turned into like, look, I haven't been around these kids' lives, their whole lives, but the time I've already been, they already know. If Josh says no, go ask me. I'm mommy, I'm sweet, they love me. <laughs> what would you say the biggest adjustment has been to being a stepdad? I mean, I don't know how you're gonna sum that up in just one, but. There's a lot of adjustments to being a stepdad. As far as adjusting, it's adjusting my time. Instead of having to just take care of you, I've got three little ones that I have to give attention to as much as you do. But I think it's very rewarding because I now know that when those kids become contributing adults to society one day, I'll have had an impact on you know, how, they, how they were brought up and what they become. So it's actually kind of rewarding. It's an adjustment but I know there's a reward. I know it's a lot of chaos, but life would be so boring without them. I'm sorry. <laughs> You don't have boring? to answer that. Boring? Yeah. I don't think anything with you is boring. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'd be bored. I think the kids are just three mini Christmas. I welcome you back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video. So right about now, Christina Hull, and of course, the husband, Josh Hull, experienced marital troubles, and of course, well before the news of their split has come out. So this comes after um, the two actually announced that they are divorcing with each other. The couple, um, according to a couple of reports, they are saying that they had issues in the marriage for quite some time before Josh filed for divorce. Well, that was on Monday, according to a couple of reports that are coming out. A separate source actually close to the two actually co confirmed that, you know, Christina um, co confirmed that Christina uh, while she was still processing the issue, you know, she has also had a couple of issues with regards to Josh. Uh, for me, from what I've been seeing on their show, you know, and then of course on social media, the two, their relationship looked troublesome, like it really looked plastic, you know, and you could tell there were subtle issues that were in there um if you could analyze the body language you know the vibe and stuff like that so the two obviously they had issues if you try to analyze this relationship so according to legal documents obtained by a couple of press people josh who is 43 years old filed for a dissolution of the marriage due to irreconcilable differences guys i repeat irreconcilable differences you can tell what's in there 
almost three years after they tied the knot on October 6, 2021. We've seen the same issue being raised um, in some of the popular divorces that have been taking place in the recent past. Uh, Jenkins and Ginny Mai, we saw also they had a reconcilable differences and so many other divorces we've seen, celebrity divorces. So per the filing, Josh is requesting spousal support from the HGH TV host who uh, who actually also stars alongside him on the show Christina on the coast Christina in the country and of course the upcoming series flip of which is set to premiere in 2025 the couple um, if you remember they secretly tied the note in a private courthouse ceremony in 2021 and of course ce celebrated their nuptials again in Hawaii in 2020 surrounded by friends and family and according to reports they are saying that the two did not have a prenuptial agreement so it means josh is going to scoop money out of you know christina which is really absurd and on, on the whoever side you may say that money he, he deserves it because women have always you know taken money out of men and stuff like that but of course it's really sad if they didn't have a prenuptial agreement we are yet to see um how the things unfold also the clips you've j just watched at the beginning of this video they were the two actually um during the, that their time together before actually things went south it's still a developing story we'll be coming out you know to give you more updates